Baby Beth. Oh, hello, Bonolo. How are you doing today, Baby Beth? Um, uh, fine. Let's greet our friends at home. Hello, friends. How are you doing today? You all right? <laughs> That's great. Oh, friends, let's not forget to greet our very good friend, Old Baobab. Hello, Old Baobab. Hmm. Friends, did you say hello to Old Baobab? You didn't? Okay, let's say hello together. One, two, three. Hello, Old Baobab. <laughs> Baby Bab, are you sure you're okay? You don't seem happy today. Oh. Will a song make you feel better, Baby Bab? Baby Bab, but I'm still worried. Uh, why? You don't seem too happy. Is there anything I can do to help? Uh, hungry. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Baby Bab. I've got an apple right here. Ah, apples. An apple is a fruit and a great snack. Yummy snack. Baby Bab, did you know that you can eat an apple without cooking it? You see, when you cook food, it becomes soft and it also makes it easier for our tummies to digest. Cooking is heating food. Heating food does more than just make it hotter. It changes the food in other ways too. Cooking can change how it looks, feels and tastes. Green vegetables first brighten when cooked. But we don't cook fruit, no, no. That's right, Baby Beth. We cook meats, pasta, rice, and many other foods. But also remember, not all veggies can be cooked all the time, like lettuce, cucumber, and carrots. Ooh, another food we don't have to cook. My oh my, you know a lot, Baby Beth. Oh, but uh, what's the difference between fruit and vegetables? Hmm, a fruit has seeds. And a vegetable is a plant pot which does not contain any seeds. So remember, if it has seeds, it's a fruit. If it doesn't, it's a vegetable. Yay! My favorite fruit is apple. My favorite fruit, orange. My favorite fruit is 
banana. <laughs> wow, my favorite vegetable is carrots. What's yours, Baby Pep? Mm, nutties. <laughs> oh, baby Pep, nuts are not vegetables. Oh, okay. Butternut. Oh, that's very delicious. <laughs> Remember, guys, you don't have to cook your fruits before you eat them. Really? Yes, you can actually pick a fruit from a tree and eat it. Oh, wow! But remember, you always have to wash it first so that it's nice and clean. Okay! But some foods you have to cook because when you put it inside the water, magic happens! <gasps> wow! And once it's cooked, it becomes nice and tasty. Yummy! Also, it's easier for it to go through our tummies. Aww, <laughs> you're making me hungry, Nolo. Okay, Baby Pep, let's go for a quick ad break so that Baby Pep can eat the fruit. Yeah, twist my tail. <laughs> Friends, let's see if we can tell which food is a fruit and which is not. Here's our first food. This is a grape. A grape has seeds in it. Is it a fruit or a vegetable? It's a fruit. You've got it right. And this one? What is it? It's spinach. It doesn't have seeds, but its leaves are very green. Is it a fruit or a vegetable? Right again. It's a vegetable. What about this one? It goes very nice with our Sunday lunch. It's pumpkin. It doesn't have leaves, it has seeds. Is it a fruit or a vegetable? Yes, it's a fruit. You're so clever. Now we know fruits have seeds and vegetables have leaves. See you after the break, my clever friends. And welcome back to Inside the Baobab Tree. There's still tons of fun to be had by me, Nolo, and my friend, Baby Bab the Bush Baby. Hi! Did you have fun today, friends? You did? That's great! <laughs> Baby Bab, did you enjoy your apple today? Yes, yes, yes! I enjoyed it, Nolo! <laughs> Oh, that's good, Baby Pep. <laughs> Today we're learning how food changes when different things happen to it. Oh, Baby Pep, let's see what your rophoscope has in store for us. Would you like to see? Yes, please. Yay! It's giraffoscope time! Yay! Now this is our friend, the giraffoscope. Giraffoscope! <laughs> That's right, Baby Pep, the giraffe scope. When we look through the giraffe scope, we can see far, far away. We can look anywhere we want. The giraffe scope is very clever. Oh, look, there's lots of things to see. Wow, look at all the different foods on the table. Look at the foods on the table. She's got flour, milk, butter, eggs, cocoa, chocolate sauce. What do you think she's making?
she's mixing all those lovely ingredients together. Baby Pep, what do you think she's making? Oh, I'm not sure. Let's get some more clues. Hmm. Now she's putting it in a pan. That gives us a great idea. Oh, cupcakes! Already, baby Bev. <laughs> what a great view we've had today. We saw how different foods can change when they're baked. We saw how the lady put different ingredients to make lovely cupcakes. We saw how different ingredients can make yummy foods. <laughs> Giraffoscope is very clever. I told you he could see anything anywhere. <laughs> That's it. All done with the giraffe scope. Let's put it away and look through it another day. There are many types of food that change when they get cooked. Let me show you a few. Look at this picture. It has flour, salt, yeast, butter, oil, sugar, and water. What do you think these things make when they're mixed together? Here's a clue. You can have it with peanut butter and jam. They make bread. I love eating fresh bread that's just been baked. Here's another picture. Wow, what are those? They are gray in color. They look like they have shells on them. Oh, I see now. It's creatures that live in the sea. They are called prawns. It's prawns. Do you know what happens to them when they are cooked? Look at this. Wow, their color has changed. They were gray before they were cooked. And now they look bright red and orange in color. I wonder what else changes in color when it's cooked. Oh, I see something now. It's red in color. I wonder what it could be. Do you know what it is, friends? Let's see more. Oh, now I see. It's a piece of steak. Steak is meat that comes from a cow. Let's see what happens to it when it gets cooked. Hey, do you see that? It also changed color. It was red before it was cooked and now it's brown in color. So many things change when cooked and they are making me feel very hungry. Let's take a little break. Welcome back inside the Baobab tree. Hello, friends. 
we just saw on our giraffoscope how food changes when it's baked. And boy, it has made us so hungry. So we'll go into playtime and we'll make a yummy craft. Yippee! It's time for us to make something funky and fun using beans. Oh, I love beans. Today we'll be using different types of beans to make a coaster. Oh, what is a coaster? A coaster is hmm, something you use to place on a table so that you can put your cup on it. Oh, okay. This is what you'll need. You will need different types of beans. You will need different markers, glue, and an old CD cover. Oh. Remember to ask your parents for an old CD cover and glue. Friends, are you ready to make a coaster? Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. That's great. First, what you'll need to do is take your beans and your marker. Oh. You will need to color your beans in. You can use a marker or you can use food coloring. Remember friends, to always ask your parents for permission to use some food coloring and let them help you too. This is how you should color your beans. To color all the way around. You can make different colored beans depending on your pattern. I've already colored some of my beans. And they look like this. Wow! When you're done coloring all of your beans, what you will need to do is take your pattern, put it on the floor, take your empty CD cover, open your CD cover, and put it on the floor so that you can make your pattern inside. When you're done, Take your glue and be very careful, friends, because glue is very, very sticky. Always ask an adult to help you. Sticky. Sticky and messy. You put your glue on the CD cover, like this, all around. Then you take your beans, different color beans, and you make your pattern. Woo! You stick one bean at a time. Remember to be very, very careful because the glue is very sticky. Oh. I've already made my own pattern. See, isn't it lovely, friends? You can even open it. And now you have your own coaster. Whoa! Nice! Indeed, Baby Bap. Did you know that if you plant these beans, you can get green leafy plants? Oh! What do you think, friends? It's great, isn't it? Fantastic! Twist my tail! <laughs> Friends, seeds come in different shapes and sizes, but they are very magical when they change and grow. Here's how the magic happens. When you plant a seed into the soil, it's very small and feels very hard on the outside. Then, when you feed it food like fertilizer and give it water to drink, something very magical happens to it. It starts to grow tiny things that look a little bit like tiny worms. These tiny worms growing out of the seeds are called roots. The roots keep growing as it eats and drinks water. These roots will help keep the growing seed steady in the ground so the wind doesn't blow it away. They also help keep it from flowing away with the big water that comes with the rain. As the roots keep growing under the soil, something else very magical happens at the top. 
tiny leaves will start to show. The leaves will usually be green in color or start off white and then turn green. The leaves will grow bigger and bigger until they form a plant. Isn't it amazing how a tiny seed can change into a blossoming, yummy plant? Before we say goodbye, let's look at a picture from one of our friends. This is a picture from Mpo Mukwena. She's five years old and she loves us. <laughs> we love you too. Keep writing us and sending us pictures. We love you and you and we love you. It's time for us to go. Come visit us again right here inside the Baobab tree. Aww, do we have to go, Nolo? Yes, Baby Bab, but don't worry, we'll be back soon. <laughs> promise? I promise. <laughs> Bye, old Baobab. See you and you and you soon. Inside the baobab tree, we explored how food changes from heat when it's cooked and also the difference between fruits and vegetables. Giraffoscope showed us how food changes when it's baked. We made our very own coaster from beans, changed food into art. <laughs> Join us soon inside the baobab tree. It's been great to see you. Goodbye. Goodbye. This program was brought to you by the SABC in conjunction with the Department of Social Development.